Okay, let's say, for example, that you want to use a filter that will override the color, the fill color of an existing wall. So by default, it's going to follow, you know, whatever you have set up in your phases. But if we want it to do something different, we can use the filter for that. Now, the tricky part of this is that we can't actually use the parameter for phase, that built-in parameter, as something to create a filter from. So we're going to have to do kind of a workaround to get this to do what we want it to do. So the first thing I'm going to do is create a schedule of my existing walls. So we want to make sure this is set to the right phase and the category that we want to create this for. And then I'm just going to add in family type and phase created. And then I'm going to add a parameter. And I will name this one existing wall filter. And it needs to be a text parameter. And it will be instance based. So just say OK to this. OK, we've got our schedule and we've got our parameter. So I'm going to create a new filter. And we'll just call it, mm, we want to do this for our code plan. So we'll call it code exist code plan existing walls and this will be for walls oops and our filter by is going to be the parameter that we added and we want it to equal existing And we'll say OK. So we haven't actually tied this to the walls yet, but we're ready, you know, when we get that set up. OK, so since I don't want to have to manually copy this information from this column to this column, I'm going to use the Imagine It Tools parameter copy. You're going to start by selecting the category. So if it's already selected somewhere, it'll show up automatically. If it's not, then you have to select it. And then I want to copy from this parameter to the one that I created. And it'll tell me how many it copied. And then you can see that it's automatically you know, copied over to that. Now, if you add additional walls, then you'll have to repeat this process so that it updates accordingly. Okay, I just did the parameter copy tool, and this is going to copy over the phase created to every single wall. So whether it shows up on this schedule or not, because I have the schedule set to just existing, it will apply to every single wall in the project. Now, the other trick to this is if you go in and you add additional walls, you would need to repeat this process. So this is assuming that I want to apply a filter to all of my walls. If I decide that I don't want it applied to all of my walls, I can come in and you know remove walls as I see fit to adjust what's being filtered and what's not. So if this is an instance where you did use the parameter copy, but you've decided that you don't want all of the walls to be affected by this, you can you know simply just come in and select them and control and add these. And then just find that parameter, and we'll change it to something else. We'll just say DNC for do not change. OK, so now those walls shouldn't be you know, affected when I assign my filter and filter overrides.
Okay, so final step is we're going to actually add the filter to the view. So go into Visibility Graphics and go to Filters. We'll add the filter we want and assign the overrides as needed. So we'll make this, I don't know, orange and we'll make this solid so it's really easy to see. And as you can see, it didn't affect the walls that I took out of my selection set and only changed the ones that remained with the existing in that parameter.